Hey, welcome to Daily Dive Daily Fantasy Fantasy Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borak, and after a great shootout win against the World's Strongest Scranton Penguin, I'm here to preview our Lehigh Valley Phantom against the 15, 21, 6, and 3 last in their division, Cleveland Monsters, the affiliate of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Even though they're last in their division, there's still a couple people like Jay Christensen <clears throat> on defense. You got to watch out for 20 assists for Christensen a uh, young player that they have that's continuing to develop I'm um, in that Blue Jackets organization as an undrafted kid who's actually coming along uh, really, really strong. And then you got Brandon Gaunt, a former top prospect that's now developed himself into a solid AHL player that's down there. And Tyler Angle would be the top, um, I would say, players to look for. And then Trey Fix Wolanski uh, would fit into that category as well. Uh, with how good he was able to play as a seventh round pick and keep developing, he's just a little guy. That's why he got picked later, five seven, literally pretty much my height, um, and and has developed pretty well for them. So there's a different guy that you got to watch out for on the Cleveland Monsters, even with them struggling as a whole. They also have Liam Foody, of course. It doesn't mean that there's um, not pit players you still got to watch out for. Now, when it comes to goaltending, uh, Jet Graves they have in net. They also have. The Neil Tarasov, who's the best guy uh, J- in terms of like them de- developing into a guy that's probably going to end up being a goaltender for Columbus someday. And then J.F. Barube, who is a veteran of the AHL, who's having a good season again this year at 299 and a 925. And then Daniil Tarasov, who's been up this year, has a freaking 937. Um, or no, an 893 and a 306. That's in Cleveland, but he had a 937 in four games. Um, in a 240 when he was caught up to the Blue Jackets. So again, this kid's still feeling out in North America, but I think the Russian kid's going to be fantastic when he pulls it all together. Speaking of another kid from there, Igor Chinikov is a very good player for um, the Columbus Blue Jackets now, who obviously went through the Cleveland Monsters as well. But when we look at our Lehigh Valley Phantoms, they're the team that's been cruising. They're the team that's in the playoff contention in their division albeit only three more wins than the Cleveland Monsters, but they are a team that has been trending a lot more in the right direction since December, and particularly the start of 2022. And a big reason to that has been the play of Hayden Hodgson in his first full season in the AHL, being the leading goal scorer. Obviously, the great play of adding when Denning got a beautiful assist to Shusko in the Willisbury Scranton game, playing fantastic um, as a right-shot offensive guy that also has played well on the defensive end. And then Cal Riley being the everything guy or as the captain. Uh, Linus Sandin went in as always a just good defensive, does uh, it all in the penalty killer type of guy. Igor Zamula's getting better and better each day. Uh, Garrett Wilson's a fantastic AHL player that'll fight anybody, check anybody, and also has the ability to stack up points. And bunneman has been hotter of late in the past month. He's played really well, whether it's on the PK or actually being able to generate some offensive chances. And same goes with Cates. Same goes with um, Matthew Strome, who has played 34 games this year, has been in a full season, and I thought has looked pretty good. He has 10 points, but I thought he's looked better and has had opportunities to have more points and just has got robbed from some plays, or when he sets somebody up, they've got robbed, etc., etc. Alex Kyle's also been a nice addition from Danny Briere's uh, main Mariners. So and so this team has depth, obviously, when we have the Morrison from the Reading Royals, Mason Millman, who's been playing with Reading as well, and now we brought in Adam Johnson, the speedster. So this team has depth. Has scouted well. Alexis Deo did not play bad when we needed him on a PTO. And Karu Ustamenko, Pat Nagel, or Felix Samson, or Ursan, all of the goaltenders have been good. And that just goes to show, one, how our goaltending coaches have been doing since we've had the Hextall era of GM here, and that's continued to the, for the Flair era and Chuck Fletcher era. Um, but um, also, uh, I think here when we look at this, our Phantoms have a lot of depth as well, and it's starting to come together more because everyone's starting to get healthy at the right time. We have Tanner Rosinski back, who's been flying out there. Uh, hopefully, eventually, uh, we'll also have guys maybe this year in the fixes back, and maybe eventually uh, the forces back before the end of the season, and that would be huge if we're able to get that, and we're able to get Sandin into more games, too, as he continues to develop. So there's a lot of things to be excited for for this Phantoms team. I think uh, something I want to see them get better at as we come down the home stretch, is the power play. It was one for five. That's something they probably could have been able to, as Usti was the main reason as the top star, excuse me, of that game, I would say, against Wilkes-Barre. Usti's the main reason they were able to win that game because he kept a minute in the first. 
and then the Phantoms were able to get going. They got the goal by Shusko, and then they got the goal by Hayden Hodgson in the third. So, and then they, of course, got the Glendening shootout goal. But um, when it comes to the Phantoms as a whole, they need to play better on the power play, I believe. And that's something I'm looking for going into the downstretch. I want to see their power play get better because then you're going to be able to, instead of having to have that pull at the heartstrings, get all the way to the shootout win, you could have been able to, even after a, a scratchy first period that you didn't play that great and Usti stepped up, you could have still had a much cleaner win and a win that would have helped you in terms of the standings as well if you got the two points in regulation, which I'm very happy we got them, but compared to in a shootout. So that's just something I'm really looking for to build on. But overall, I thought our defensive play, I thought our goaltending, no matter who the hell's in that, and also the fact that we have guys really continuing to build. I, th I thought Rupsoff played great in that game. He made the big play to be able to lead to the Shusko goal, getting uh, the puck off of the blade of the Lorsberry player on the back check there, and then being able to get it um, back to his team so they could set up the Shusko goal, Glendening to Maxime Shusko. So I thought he's played well in the little facets of the game. Even if he doesn't stand out on offense, he makes those little plays um, at the, that you um, that you really need to see that are really important in a game as well. But this has been a preview for our Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the Cleveland Monsters. They're going to take on the Cleveland Monsters twice this weekend. As again, for the Monsters, uh, Christian Shin, Tyler Angle, Brandon Gaunch, Liam Foodie, also even Kevin Stentland um, are players that you definitely want to look out for. Uh, plus uh, Danforth, but Danforth, I think, is up again, so I don't know if we ever have to look out for him, but when he's down, uh, he's a very good player <clears throat> um, for them as well. And then if Tarasov or Barubi's in that, I think both of those guys are very good with their third goalkeeper uh, being undrafted Cam Johnson, who's been inconsistent, but actually has been solid uh, as well, coming off of a great ECHL season that he's been playing this year. He's had eight games in the AHL where his goals against is great. Save percentage isn't the best, but also Cleveland has been inconsistent defensively, so that could lead to the save percentage not being the best, right? So I think this is going to be a great game between the Phantoms and Monsters, both of them, tonight at 7.05 and tomorrow at 1 p.m. I look for our Phantoms to definitely capture at least two points from this weekend series. That's pivotal, but I want them to get at least a three out of four. The Reading Royals, our ECHL team against the Great Wheel and Nailers team, were able to get three out of four in Wheeling. I'm looking for our Phantoms to do the same in Cleveland. That would be my goal going into this weekend. But everybody have a great day. Have a pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe up above on the Easy to Use widget or down below on the Easy to Use subscribe button to help us grow to 200 or more subscribers by the end of February. Enjoy the hockey, everybody, and enjoy the game. Peace out.